Hey guys, welcome back, and today I have some interesting video for you. Today we're going to be talking about switching from mobile phone to computer for video editing. And both these platforms, if you can call it that way, have some positives, but the video editing on computer has so much more to offer. And of course, mobile video editing is okay, but in the future, if you want to upgrade it, that's why I'm making this video. And one of the benefits for mobile is that you can bring it everywhere, not like some desktop computer where you can't even fit in your light backpack. And in the new generation of mobile phones, you can actually have some pretty cool editing apps. And they're pretty advanced, so you can edit really well. But here's some major advantages if you want to switch to computer. The first one, the screen is way bigger than on mobile. So on computer, you can see the picture in full detail, comparing to some mobile device, which the screen is very tiny. And if you edit on tablets, it's a little better than the phone, but the computer screen is way bigger. Number two, computers have a lot more processing power. And even if your computer is two years old, it's still going to have way more processing power than your brand new phone. Number three, the interface is way easier to use. And of course, you have some sophisticated tools on the computer, like the trackpad or the mouse. And I personally use trackpad, which makes it so much easier to edit your videos. Comparing to some mobile device where you have to like pinch to zoom in and zoom out, or just swipe. So the only tool you have on your mobile device is your fingers. You're using your fingers is good, but it's not sophisticated like a trackpad. Additionally, if you want multi-layer editing, then computer is for you. On Final Cut Pro, you can put about 50 layers of video on top of each other. And even some Hollywood movies are made in programs such as Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, for example. And obviously, 50 layers of video editing is not possible on mobile. And you're probably going to say, who in the world would use 50 layers of video? Well, sometimes when I edit my videos, there's some moments in my video where I have to put 12 layers of video. And that's great. So if you need more flexibility, you can use it. Additional point, softwares on the computer are less glitchy. And of course, you can edit on mobile, but as far as being less glitchy, computers always win. Basically, computer editing softwares are way more reliable than some mobile video editing app. And when it comes to exporting a clip, computers have way more flexibility. And on mobile, there's some different kinds of formats for exporting, but on computer, there's way more. Just quickly, the count of today and shout out goes to Apex Z Alex, and he says, Can you do a room tour? We actually did one room tour. If you want to see it, click this info card. Another point, it is super easy to make thumbnails on computer. You can zoom in, you can view each detail, and you can make awesome thumbnails. And I know it's not part of video editing, but if you want a really sophisticated thumbnail, then computer will definitely help you. And keep in mind, there's some people that see your thumbnail from mobile and people that see your thumbnail from computer. So if somebody made a thumbnail on mobile and somebody sees it from computer, they're going to have a different experience. But if somebody makes a thumbnail on computer and somebody sees it from mobile, it's going to be compressed size, so it's only going to get better. So it's going to be all of these pixels getting compressed to a smaller size. AKA better thumbnail quality. To be honest, in the beginning of my channel, I used to edit on mobile. And mostly, I use my dad's computer and Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. And of course, if I'm making a video about some mobile video editing app, then I have to use it. But other than that, I mostly use computer. And to sum everything up, if you want to upgrade from mobile to computer, it's a huge upgrade. And you're going to absolutely love it. And if you want to learn about the software that I'm using, click right here. These are the basics. I have second tutorial too. Make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!